Hey, what's up, guys? Second Crypt over here, back again with some more Crypt Mod in Minecraft. Oh, yeah, so that's off. We got started with Lazier AE2, and between episodes, I got started working on some more Carbonic Fluix Dust because this game, or, well, this uh, this mod really likes Carbonic Fluix Dust. So I'm working on that because uh, I want to get started. I want to get the Circuit Etcher going because the Circuit Etcher is going to be very, very useful because you can use the Circuit Etcher in place of inscribers. Like you literally only need one circuit etcher unless you're making like a ton of circuits, like a, like in a hardcore pack or something. So, yeah. Anyway, we're making more carbonic fluix, like I said, because uh, yeah, we need, uh, we need a lot of this. Uh, this mod really likes carbonic fluix dust. All right. Uh, and unfortunately, oh wait, hold on. How's my time in a bottle? Eh, we're doing pretty well. It seems like it seems like the tick acceleration works just fine, but let's check my power reserves. How's the power doing? Actually, kind of decent. Though to be fair, I have, uh, to be fair, I go in spurts of using my power. So let's see. So we're gonna need sky stone, carbonic fluix, and matter balls to get speculation cores. And uh, we need two 64x speculative processors, which requires speculation core x64. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. All right. I'm going to speed that up. Just because, uh, just because I'm, uh, you know, not in a rush, but, you know, might as well, uh, might as well get this, uh, might as well get this going just so, uh, just so I can get onto some more fun things. So let's see. Um, so for the 1x uh, to, to combine into 2, we're going to need redstone. All right, let's go grab some more redstone then, because I've been using a lot. I mean, I've been using a lot of it, but I'm still. Uh, yeah, I've been using a lot of it, but I still seem to have plenty, which is good. So. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All right, so if we do this, that'll get me. That'll get me 64. OK, so we need silicon now. So. Only like 32 of it, but I might as well get like, eh, okay. I already, uh, I already regular clicked it, so I might as well just do 32. All right. So then this needs logic. So we need 16 of those. Oh boy. Let's see. Where's my gold? And this is why I need an AE system. <laughs> Where's all my gold ore? Let's see. Uh, find here and here. Yep, there you are. So we do this. We need more redstone. Um, I don't know how much I need, but you know. Yeah, let's just go with 16. Uh, 16, not 17. Technically not necessary, but you know, that'll be fine. So then we could just use my universal press that I got last episode as well, and we can stamp out everything that I need. Unfortunately, it's still going to be kind of slow, so yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, it looks like the universal press is uh, multi-use, which is uh, good. I was hoping. Uh, I was hoping. Actually, actually, considering I need to use the universal press for the uh, for the two circuits. Uh, uh, for the two circuits from Laser EE2, uh, yeah, I'm 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 really glad the Universal Press has the appropriate tag to not get consumed. Like, or wait, hold on, maybe that was maybe that was because of me. No, no, it's not. It's not because of me. It, there, it this has the this has the appropriate uh, tag to say, hey, I don't get consumed. So that's a good thing. All right, well. This is gonna take a while, especially considering I can't tick accelerate this. So yay. Wait, where's my gold? Oh, I had pickup upgrade was on. Alright. Well, uh, let me come back in a second. Alright, we have speculation core times eight. Now we need calculation processors. And we need eight of them. Uh okay. So we're gonna need four of these. 
Uh, Beerbeck. X16. Now we need engineering. So we're going to need four of those. We're going to need more diamonds later. That's not good. Because, hang on. Uh, this needed a parallel processor. Parallel circuit. Resonating gem needs diamonds. Okay, so... Yeah. Can't continue without a little mining. So we're going to need to... We're going to need to go find some diamonds. Great. I was really hoping I wouldn't need to go find diamonds. But, uh... I guess we are. So... Back in a while. I'm not even kidding. I found 64 diamonds just by mining down here for like... I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So, uh... Yeah, I think I think we may have enough diamonds for a bit. Uh, I, I, keyword may. I'm not sure if we will, but you know. Uh, see you at home. All right, making the engineering processors now for my speculation course. Not uh, not too terrible, but you know. All right. So now we just need. All right. So then. We need two parallels in order to get the X64. And the, the resonating gem that we need is Skystone Dust, Diamonds, and Ender Dust. I hope I have some Ender Dust in here. Nope, turned it all into Ender Pearls. All right. There's some here. That works. Then we need a couple of Skystone Dust and a couple of the diamonds that I just got. Skystone. Might as well speed this up just a, just a tad. Here we go. So then these need to be Fluix aggregated. Oh wow, this one takes a lot longer than I thought. Uh, so, a couple of silicon. Need some redstone. Alright, here's my resonating gems, so... Go ahead and stamp those out. Easy peasy. Parallel. Actually, actually, I could have, uh, I could have just taken a resonating. I could have just done my other resonating gem first, but you know. There we go. So there's a parallel processor. Sweet. And here is my second one coming up in just a few seconds. Equally as sweet. All right, so then I just need to do this. And we have Speculation Core X64. So we're going to need two more silicon stamped out. A couple more redstone, which I have in my bag. And then very soon we won't need to use inscribers anymore. Which will be very, very handy. Printed speculative. Sweet. All right. So then we just need to do this. And we can get a speculative processor. Perfect. And we needed two of these for the circuit etcher, which is unfortunate, but you know. All right, so then we need two Fluix steel. So that would be the Fluix aggregator coal Fluix iron. All right. Uh, let's see, how much iron do I have in here? None. All right. Do I have any iron around here? Let's see. Iron ingot. Nope. All right, guess I'm processing a little bit of iron. Although, uh, although processing ores is easy peasy just because that triples most ores, so. <sighs> I left, uh, left pickup on, uh, I left the pickup upgrade on. All right, hold on. So if we need Fluix. Yeah, I mean, uh, Fluix is easy. So we do Crystal Energizer, this. Give myself a piece of redstone. Here we go. This, this, this. All right, um, so we need Flux Dust and Coal Dust. So a couple pieces of coal. All right, uh, squeeze those, crush these, because I can't squeeze through these for some reason. I need to I, I need to add the squeezer recipes for that, because that, uh, that's very annoying to not have. Uh, this was, 
Hold on, this was Fluix Aggregator to get Fluix Steel. Okay, so Fluix Aggregator. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I always need to double check what, uh, what is uh, Fluix Steel and what's not, so let's see. Circuit Etcher just needs a Fluix Logic Unit. Oh boy, we need more Fluix Steel. Um, and some Carbonic Fluix Dust. So six more Fluix. Um, Hey, wait, I have, uh, I have some charge in here, so. All right. Well, I wish I would have, uh, wish I would have seen that beforehand or remembered it beforehand. Okay, so, yeah, so we need, f uh, all of those need to be dust. So we do that. Okay, so then we need some coal. Here's all my coal. Squeezer. Right? Uh, let's double check. So, carbonic flux is coal. Yeah, so coal flux silicon for the, for the dust, and then coal flux iron. Yeah, so coal flux iron for the flux steel. So we need four flux steel, which means I'm going to need another iron ore. Wherever that is, right here. All right. There we go. So this, 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 and then we need two silicon. Yep, it was flux aggregator. Good thing I uh, good thing I got that one correct. Oh, and then an engineering processor. Okay. So get a diamond. Get another piece of silicon. Get a redstone. Silicon gets pressed. This silicon gets aggregated. This diamond will get pressed. Alrighty, and then we get an engineering processor. Then we need some more quartz glass. Do I have any quartz glass? Probably not. Let's go ahead and get this ready to crush. There we go. There we go, some Sirtis quartz. And then we just need to make some quartz glass, which should be no problem. There we go. Uh, looks logic unit. Then we just need the inscribers and my, oh, we just need the inscribers and my universal press. All right, easy peasy. Let's see if I can do it in here. Okay, circuit etcher, check. Which means Heck yeah, we don't need a... Okay, let's see, so Crystal Energizer can go here, Flux Aggregator can go here, and Circuit Etcher can go here. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be super nice because I don't need, uh, I don't need Inscribers anymore. Then the Pulse Centrifuge would be the last thing that I would need, which needs another speculative processor. All right, uh, so what's going on here? Okay, uh, input. Can I do that? Hmm. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I can. Neat. All right, so I can uh, so I can just throw stuff in here to make circuits, and then the, uh, they'll all be uh, they'll all be processed. So let's see. So we'll need uh, okay. So the pulse centrifuge will need four fluke steel, two parallel processors. So. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to want that pulse centrifuge because, like, the crusher right now is kind of slow, but to be fair, I can make speed upgrades for that. But also, to be fair, uh, speeding that up will cost a lot of power, and I don't have a lot of power right now. So, yeah. Let's do... Oh, hold on. Parallel processor. So, resonating gem needs skystone dust, diamond, ender dust. Got it. 
I just need two of those for now. For now. Skystone. It's still in here. So we need to do that. There we go. A couple diamonds. Man, I cannot believe how many diamonds I've used so far. Okay, Flux Aggregator's here now. Alright, also technically I don't need this cable here. I mean, this is all temporary anyway, just because of, uh, you know. Okay, pickup is off. Just making sure it is. Okay, and we just need to grab some more redstone. A couple of silicon, and we can do this. There we go. And it's just making the circuits right away, and that is amazing. Oh my god, I love this, because inscriber automation is so annoying. So, all right. Let's see. Oh, then we need a speculative processor. That's right. Okay, um... So we just need some matter balls, and we need some... Uh, it was carbonic fluix, right? Let's see. Oh, and skystone. So, um, a stack of fluix. So, 32 of these. Uh, minus 7, because I have these. Oh, and some... Fluix, or add some nether quartz. Probably some more redstone as well. Would probably do me some good. All right, uh, back in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and make some of the uh, some more uh, some of the more base components. Okay, we're fluix aggregating together the carbonic fluix dust, which is uh, good. Let's see. So then we needed the sky stone, which I have. Perfect. Easy peasy. So now we just need to do this. Now we're getting my speculation cores. All right, so we need redstone. That's right, so. Is this done? Nope, not done. Um, it's not done, the lights just turned off for some reason. Okay. Nope, I need more redstone. That'll do. All right. Now we just go through the speculation core steps again. All right. Then that's times four. So now we need logic processors, and I need eight of those. All right. Did I get gold while I was down there? I did. Okay. Uh, handy, handy. All right. How much redstone do I have in here? Not oh. enough loose dust. All right. There we go. Perfect. So then I just need eight of these into my circuit etcher. All right. And yeah, that's going to take some time. That's it. How much time do I? Have? Oh, I have plenty of time in my time in a bottle. Okay. Perfect. So then this needs calculation. That's right. Okay. So. So four of those. This is this is uh, just an this is just an annoying one without the pulse centrifuge. So let me come back. All right. X sixteen. So now we need diamonds. All right. A couple of these. A couple of these. No. Okay, well, I need I need silicon anyway, so. Dude, the circuit etcher is so good. All right, and then I need another parallel processor, I just realized. Do I have, do I have any ender dust in here? Let's see. Ender dust. I do, okay. So one ender dust. I need a sky stone. All right. There we go. And 
a diamond. So let's aggregate them together. And one piece of redstone. All right. I'm also really glad that these can just go in any slot. Uh, no problem. That, that's, uh, that's a good thing about that. So let me just need one more piece of silicon and one more redstone. Put all of these together. And then we have our speculation, uh, speculative processor. Speculative or speculation? I don't know. Let's see, so we put the, nope, this. Huh, okay. All right, speculative. That's what it is. So, no, I wanted this. Okay, so let's see. So if we look in here, what am I missing? I'm missing Flux Steel, four of them, a Flux Logic Unit, so eight of them technically. Crystal Growth Chamber. So that means a Molecular Assembler and six Crystal Growth Accelerators and some Flux Cable. All right, so I'm gonna need 10 more Flux Dust. All right, oh wait. Where's all my, where did my Surgis Quartz go? Certus? Didn't I just shift click Certus Quartz? Hello? I just shift click Certus. Where did, oh, why is it in here? Why did, why did that happen? That's odd. All right, uh, let's energize these. I'm gonna need 10, uh, uh, okay. Actually, actually I am gonna need 10 coal. Yeah, that's actually how much I need. So, boom. Then I'm gonna need, let's see. So steel was just iron. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we're good, we're good. All right, so this is done. I need, uh, need more redstone. Actually, let's go ahead and deposit the redstone in here. Just, you know, that'll be, uh, that'll make it much cleaner in here. Uh, plus, uh, plus all my redstone is in the same spot, so, you know. How's this doing, 32? All right, let's go ahead and make some uh, fresh milk. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I've mentioned, I, I'm spending time making fresh milk so that way I don't have to rely on the milk bucket being full. Or on the on the milk jar being full, you know? Nope. Not doing that one. There we go. Okay. So flux check. Uh crush it. Here's my time in a bottle. Okay, so we need uh, we need eight iron, so that means three ore. Here we go. Perfect. So we need eight of these in the flux aggregator to do flux steel. And then two for carbonic flux. Uh, yeah, the carbonic flux for this. Um, okay, crystal girl chambers, that's gonna be flux blocks, so six of those, oh boy. That's right, uh, that's right. These were also pretty pricey, uh, uh, but the good thing is the pulse centrifuge will uh, handle that, so yeah. What's this? Dump energy, this will avoid the currently stored energy completely. Why? Why would you ever need that button? Why would you ever need that button? All right, so let's see. So the Fluix logic unit just needs an engineering processor. Got it. And all my redstone is in the drawer. Need to remember that. So we have those, this, this, and this. All right. 
So otherwise, I think I can craft the Flux Logic Unit. Oh, surprisingly, all the machines needed that. I didn't even notice that until just now, which is weird. Okay, Flux Logic Unit, check. So, hold on. What else do we need for this? The Crystal Growth Chamber, and that's it. So we're going to need six Crystal Growth Accelerators. Uh, okay. I have... Oh, okay. That's that's actually kind of easy. Um, don't I have a quartz fiber in here? Yes, I do. All right. Oh, okay. So I'm going to need more cable, actually. Um, okay. Then another molecular assembler. All right. Flux energy connection. Cool. Um, thanks. All right. So this... Gonna need another crafting table. I mean, luckily, a crafting table is pretty easy. Okay, this seems to be doing just fine, which is good. No, not there. I didn't want that there. Give me this thing. I wanted, I wanted it to craft with. So let's see, molecular assembler. We need the the cores. Uh, where did I put those cores? Did I put them both in here? Yes, I did. Okay. And then we need some more quartz glass. How much uh, How much service do I have? Hold on. Find. There's some in here. Oh, there's quite a bit in here, actually. Okay. Uh, nope, I need another one. All right. Let me come back in a second. Okay, there's my molecular assembler. Now, let's see. The Crystal Growth Accelerator needs two quartz glass each. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need 24 iron. Yeah, so 24 iron, uh, 12, uh, 12 cables. Don't have enough cables, so we're going to need to make some more. Right. Let's make some more. Uh, make some more glass. Where's my bee going, by the way? I saw it, fl I saw it flying over here uh, earlier. What are you doing here? Oh, there's a there's a flower right there. Oh. These bees just get bored of the flowers that are nearby or something? They just like, uh, they just like seem to wander off. Uh, I mean, luckily they don't forget where their home is, which is, you know, good. All right. Let's see. So, oh, we're gonna need more flux. Wait, I can, oh, I don't have the pulse centrifuge yet, so I'm gonna need to make another seed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to make another set of seeds because I don't have the pulse centrifuge yet. I can't, uh, I can't pulse centrifuge this into, into two. Right. Kinda, uh, kinda sucky, but you know. This is almost done. All right. No, no, no. I want to do this. There we go. So the enrichment chamber, those, because that's a really uh, that's a really good skip right there. I like that. All right. So some more quartz fiber. And some more cables, and that's not enough. All right. Let me come back. All right, we got six crystal growth accelerators. Now I just need a bucket of water. Accelerator is an understatement. I agree. Yeah, I agree. It's basically necessary. But crystal growth chamber and pulse centrifuge. Boom. That, that is nice because now I can just put crystals directly in here and they will become pure along with doing a few other things. Uh, Hold on. So use. So this can also turn Ender Pearls back into Ender Dust, or it can turn Skystone into Skystone Dust, or it can turn wheat into flour. So you know, that, that works. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. I think we're good. But uh, let me uh, let me check. Uh, let me check and see if there's anything else I want to do this episode. Yeah, I can't think of anything else I want to do this episode. So we're going to go ahead and call it. 
Alrighty right, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Kirby's Mod in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed finishing up getting the lazier AE2 machines. Now my journey into AE will be a whole lot easier. Stay tuned next time. We'll probably get started with making our AE system and maybe automating a few things. I don't know. We'll, we'll for sure be getting into some storage, but you know. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Later.